Hello there and welcome to the Beard of Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United. I'm of course George, welcome along to the channel everybody, welcome back and we've got more news. I wasn't expected to do a video actually but there is a little bit of news, a little bit of a busy day actually today um, for Leeds United. Um, if you're watching this tomorrow, it was yesterday and all the, you know, you could go on forever, couldn't you? But yeah, look, it's been a busy day for Leeds today. We'll get straight into the to, to the news. Um, if you're new around the channel, remember to like the video and to subscribe to the channel. I'm, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs uh, before the end of the season. Um, I think we're currently about 260 or 70 off, off it. Um, so, you know, if you like the content and you end up watching a little bit of myself uh, and, and, and my contra uh, contract, content, we're talking about contracts soon, but it, it, I'm talking about my content. If you do enjoy it and you watch it quite often, um, you know, remember to like the video. It, it, it kind of helps it be seen by more people and, and, and subscribe to the channel. It's, it's completely free to do so, I'm sure you know how youtube works you don't need me telling you but anyway without further ado let's get into the news and so we've been talking um earlier on in the week about mark jackson um and his potential involvement with M mk dons as their manager it has been confirmed today uh, this afternoon that mark jackson is in fact the new <laughs> mk dons manager he takes over um, the League One side, and yeah, you know, I saw Bradley Johnson was doing a little bit of coaching, wasn't he, on the sidelines for MK Dons, obviously, uh, plays there at the moment, and looks like he's potentially doing his coaching badges, so maybe there's a little bit of a link-up with ex-Leeds United player Bradley Johnson, at, well, there is a link-up, maybe there's a, like a coaching um, collaboration between Bradley Johnson and Mark Jackson, uh, as he has become the new MK Dons manager. It was obviously sort of rumoured, um, was it Tuesday, I think, maybe, um, that he was in. He was the front-runner for the job. He is obviously now being confirmed. You could tell it a little bit from um, the way Jesse Marsh spoke um, yesterday in his press conference. He, he referred to Mark Jackson's involvement with Leeds United almost... In the past tense, he said Mark was, he was talking about last season's um, survival, he said Mark was, he was, not is, sorry, he was, a right, that is the past, so he was, but I think, sorry, there was, uh, there was a, a little bit of a, um, a little thing where he did let slip, I think. Not obviously that because that is in the past, so he would use that. But he does say, I'm pretty sure at some point he said he was an integral part to 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 my plan or something like that. So it was there when you look back at that, you think actually, yeah, it was it was done. You know, before today, today was just be announced. And good luck to him. It's his first managerial position, um, and let's see how he gets on. But Jesse Marsh. You know, he took to social media, didn't he, to Instagram to to say, you know, good luck to him. And he'll, I'm sure he said he'll do great things at MK Dons. And he said, but you'll always be Leeds, he said. Um, and there's a picture of the two of them. I'm not sure which game it was, but maybe it was a Norwich match last season where they're celebrating widely on the touchline together. So that was good of him to, to uh, you know... To give his thanks, obviously, he was going to do. He's been, like he said, he's been a big part of, of what we were doing and a big part with the with the, with the the under-21s. Uh, and he's brought, he's overseen quite a number of young players into the first team. So he will be badly, badly missed, um, I'm sure, from, from, you know, from our club. But, you know, it's a first opportunity. It's a big opportunity for him. He's a young coach, really. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it is it's a big opportunity, but one like I said on Tuesday's video, he he probably can't turn down. He obviously hasn't, and he leaves his beloved Leeds United, so it must be uh, worth doing uh, from his point of view. So good luck to Jacko um, in his new position. The second 
bit of news that I want to talk about, oh, and, the, and the final bit of news, obviously, is Diego Llorente. And Diego Llorente has signed a new contract for Leeds United, a three-and-a-half-year deal. Keeps him to, into the club until 2026. Uh, I think a lot of people are a little bit baffled by this, if, if I'm honest, by looking at the reaction um, of many on social media. Yeah, I don't think they're really that infused about this. I mean, and it's come out a bit, 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 bit of a shock, a bit of a shock to me, really. And, you know, Diego Llorente, I mean, let me just, you know, start from the beginning of his time at Leeds. You, you, you know, quite excited about the 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 acquisition of a of a Spanish international centre back who'd had a lot of uh, experience in La Liga and a, a, you know I know he didn't play much for Real Madrid but he started I think at Real Madrid you know we bought him from Real Sociedad he played I think for Malaga as well how exciting you know Spanish international surely he was gonna. You know, be be sent about with Robin Cock. That's that's the way I was thinking. Anyway, and I thought, wow, this is pretty good. When we came up from the Premier League, international centre backs, you know, and Spanish centre back at that, Spanish international at that, and German in the terms of Robin Cock. So, how exciting was that? But then you see him play. He got injured. He 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 can't seem to get much of a a run in the side even now. You know, to and a bit years later, he's still struggling for fitness and form. Form is massive. He's he's really. I mean, last season he was he was decent. I think played twenty eight games of our you know thirty six game season, thirty eight game season. Sorry. Um, yeah, and he and he played well. Three goals. Uh, you know, if you look back at it, three important goals really, or two important goals. Um, one which gave us our first one in the season at home to Watford. One was um, away at Villa, which I think levelled the game as well. So an important one and a potentially important one, which didn't turn out to be so away at Arsenal in a 2-1 loss in May. So, yeah, look, he's four goals overall from 57 appearances, four leads. His only other goal was a goal in the behind-closed-door season, our first in the Premier League, uh, 2021, um, an equaliser against Liverpool at Ellen Road in a 1-1 draw, and he's done all right, you know, overall. But this season, he just has looked lackadaisical, very, very uh, lethargic, very relaxed, too relaxed on the football, making far too many errors. And he, I don't know what, what's going on with him, but he, he really <coughs> hasn't had a good season at all. He's kind of lost his place in the team. I think he's got another slight injury at the moment, but he's lost his place in the team. You know, Robin Cox really had a good season, in my opinion. Diego Llorente has had a, a shocking um, season. And is it a coincidence? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it's any coincidence that last night... Not, not, not last night, the other night when we played Monaco. We were 1-1 at half-time. Um, Diego Llorente replaces Robin Cock for the second half. And is it a coincidence that 10 minutes later or 15 minutes later or something, we're 4-1 down? Is it a coincidence? You know, Diego Llorente on the pitch um, just screams uncertainty for me. I'm sorry to Diego because... Um, there's a player there that I really, again, really, I want to do, want to see him do well. You know, like I said, he comes in, Spanish international, you know, looking him up and stuff. And, you know, he's two days younger than me. And I'm thinking, wow, I want this guy to do well. You know, two days younger, he's the same age. And I'm thinking, yeah, I want him to do well. I want him to do well. And uh, hopefully he will. You know, he's 10 caps for Spain. But why, you know, somebody let me know in the comments if I'm missing something, if I'm watch, you know, if he's actually playing well. He, he's he signed a new contract. Three-year contract. You know, are we preparing for the championship? Because we're going to have to need 
players, and he, it looks like he'll probably stick around, even if you know we do go down, which hopefully we we, we should have enough. But you know, players like Diego Llorente in the in the team isn't going to end well, uh, really, and it hasn't done. You know, he's he, you know that that he he hasn't played um, a game, well, a Premier League game. Since the end of October, in that dire, disgraceful two 0 loss to Leicester, where it was just abject and awful, uh, he hasn't played. Well, he played in the Carabao Cup against Wolves, but I haven't played in the Premier League for. Well, I know we haven't played in the Premier League for a month, but he not played for another month before that. So, yeah, and then they've given him a new contract. He it doesn't make any sense to me, but. They obviously see something that we don't. I think I think Marsh isn't picking him at the moment because he's out of form. But I think Marsh must like him. Um, but looks like we're going to be stuck with him for another few years. Maybe he can find form. He was good in that first season, and well, when he got himself fit, and he was decent last season. But he's too prone to errors too many times, far too often. And he's, you know, for me, like I said, uh, you know, when they came in, when we got promoted, uh, Cock as well, because Cock has improved and, and he's done well, um, has Robin Cock. But Diego Llorente, he just hasn't improved at all. And uh, to, you know, let me know, are you happy with it, that with that Diego Llorente signing a new contract? For me... I'm not unhappy about it. I, like I said, I always want. Obviously, you want our players to do well. Like anybody wearing, <coughs> excuse me, Leeds, Leeds United on the chest, you want them to do well. But yeah, Diego Llorente just for me doesn't really hasn't really done enough to deserve a new contract, really. But let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know about Jacko as well. And uh, will the club miss Mark Jackson? But let me know in the comments there down below. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of people have finished for Christmas uh, today. So enjoy the Christmas break. It'll probably be the last video from me before Christmas. Have a good one. And if you are out tonight, then be careful. I know it's Mad Friday. Don't have too much to drink, but who am I to to tell you what to do and if you've been, you know if you're watching this and it's saturday uh christmas eve and you're nursing a hangover well i hope this helps in your trips to the toilet to be sick i'm only kidding uh but yeah hopefully you uh do uh you know everybody has a good night everybody has a good christmas uh, until Leeds United spoil it uh, on Wednesday, <laughs> no doubt, because it's Man City. But you never know, they might make it. We live in hope. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. Marching on together. I'll see you on the next one.